Today we are going to talk about the reality of this game. And if you are a hardcore farmer, this might not be the news you want to hear because the game isn't tailored for that player base. This realization struck me again after I decided to take things a bit easier with the game. In essence, there isn't much to gain by playing the game extensively. For the casual player, there are tons of relatively easy gains in a short amount of time. However, for those deeply immersed in the game, the returns aren't as rewarding. Sure, you might stumble upon perfect drops with great stats and magical attributes, but you won't use them for an extended period. Now don't get me wrong, there is nothing inherently wrong with farming intensively and aiming for those perfect pieces for your builds. I've done it for a long time, and I'll probably continue after when I go back from my trip. But the fact remains, this game is designed with the casual player in mind. What I mean by this is that players aren't adequately rewarded for intense farming, in fact there's a sort of punishment involved. You hit a point where you can't even gain experience, and I understand that it's vital to maintain the game's current balance. Now, as I'm also playing with a brand new free-to-play account, I have a new perspective on the game. It genuinely encourages you to make purchases from the shop. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't bombard you with ads or anything like that. Occasionally you will receive one-time bundle notifications, but that's the extent of it. It pushes you to spend in a different way, for example, even if you have enough combat rating for the hell difficulty you are in, taking down monsters takes a considerable amount of time. The reason? I don't have legendary gems yet, and I'll only get significantly stronger once I obtain the right ones. But for a new player the temptation might be to buy random bundles and hope for the best or they might just leave the game. I'm going off on a tangent here but whatever. I'll discuss what comes to mind when I think about Diablo Immortal. Moving on to PvP, the main thing in this game is Battlegrounds. And as you can probably guess, it's entirely pay to win. Occasionally you might get good matchups and have some fun, but most of the time even spending money won't be enough because there will always be someone who paid more than you. Have you noticed how enemy players die quite easily in the background? Well, most of them probably spent a significant amount of money on their accounts, but that doesn't really help. So, my advice is to hold off on spending money when you start playing the game. Try to get a feel for it first, see if you really like it without making any purchases. Once you make that first purchase, you might feel obligated to play just because you spent some money on your account. Aside from the pay to win aspect of PvP, you might encounter legs, delays and rubber banding issues in Battlegrounds. For example, monks have had a pretty bad rubber banding issue since the game's launch and it's still hanging around. Other than Battlegrounds, there are the Vault, Vigil of Blades and Rite of Exile fights. I find them quite decent and enjoyable depending on your teammates and the state of the server you're playing on. I believe that's all I wanted to share for now. I hope these insights can be helpful for newer players. If you would like to share your experiences, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for listening and take care.